Hmm. What's wrong with this picture? Hmm. Oh, wait. I see what the problem is. Ah, that's much better. So, I know I haven't been making videos in a while, but that's because I've been busy with college. That's what happens when you're my age and you're in college. Anyways, I just figured I'd make a quick video for today on the old Fujitsu lifebook P1610, which was featured in the video, the Vista Capable Experience, or should I say the Vista Capable Experience. Yeah, we all know Vista sucked when it first came out, but after the service packs, it was good, right? Well, it was good if your computer had at least one gigabyte of RAM, and you and you had a Core Solo or Core Duo processor, right? Well, Core Solo is no longer in the picture because you saw how, how well Vista ran on this computer, which is why I downgraded it back to XP. I was going to make a video on that, but my camera ran but my camera ran out of memory during the installation. I had to delete some of my old recordings off the camera. And since I no long since my dad took my tripod and never returned it, I'm gonna have to save up to uh buy a new one. But you know, these videos are just for fun, so if you don't if you want to use Adblock, go right ahead. I don't really care if you if you cost me ad revenue because I actually I actually make money running my own computer business, so there you go. Oh, and would you look at that? We're greeted with a nice update icon down there on the taskbar. If you can even see that on this 480p camcorder. So, what? So I went ahead and downgraded this bad boy back down to Windows XP. Now you're probably thinking, Ben, why did you put an unsupported operating system? on a computer that couldn't run Vista. Well, for those of you who don't know, Windows XP, though unsupported, technically, happens to run very well on older hardware. Heck, you can even run this on a Pentium 2, one thir a, a 233 MHz Pentium 2, or even a 133 MHz Pentium MMX processor, because you only need a 133 MHz Pentium and, six, and, a, and a minimum of 64 megabytes of RAM to run XP. So, this computer has a Core Solo U1400 uh, clocked at, well, it's 1.2 gigahertz, but for some reason it's saying 790 megahertz, and one gigabyte of RAM. And since this computer's maximum amount of RAM is one gigabyte, it's really not ideal to run anything higher than XP on here because Vista, even though Microsoft recommends Yes, I said recommends one gigabyte of RAM for that now unsupported OS. Um, it doesn't run well on one gigabyte of RAM, and neither does Windows 7, even the starter edition. And I'm sorry if I'm making you guys go dizzy here. My hand is not the most steady one. But, in all, XP is not truly dead because Microsoft, even for those who did the POS Ready update hack, has re released an update after the WannaCry ransomware outbreak that patched XP systems. And as you can see, this system has the POS Ready update hack installed. So let's go ahead and install these POS Ready updates. And you can see just how quick that is. So Windows XP is literally the messiah for this computer for older, com for older hardware because it it's still relatively supported if you do the POS Ready update hack. And you can also install more modern browsers on it. You can even do this under Windows 98 if you really want to go back. If you really want to go back to the past, um, I, the last version that's of Opera to support XP is version 36. Although, for whatever reason, I can't get it to. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to. It doesn't seem to like it when Windows is doing updates. So, I end up getting an application launch error or a, a not enough memory error because. Windows Update is what's been causing this problem, uh, where Opera is unable to start because there's not enough memory, um, and SVC Host is using all the CPU. Um, but other than that, though, um, XP runs just fine on here. Um, Opera 36, while it may be the, la the last version to support XP, Opera does still 
release security patches for that version. And it also, and also, uh, there's another browser called Lunascape that supports XP still, uh, because Firefox will be dropping support for XP in September. So, I'm just trying to find a modern browser, and the problem is, as you can see, Opera is not able to start because it, there's not enough memory for it to start, and the CPU usage just spiked at 100% because it's, do, it's installing a million updates here. Well, actually, there's only three. But you can see how long it takes to open Opera just because Windows Update is hogging all the CPU. So, we'll go ahead and close out of that. But you can go to modern websites. Uh, trust me, modern websites do work. Um... Yeah, of course, the core solo processor itself is not a very... I've always had bad luck with core solo processors because I've always had the same issue with sluggish performance on the core solo processors. And if I have one thing to say to Intel about this, why did you take a faulty processor and, and rebrand it? Because, for those who don't know, Core Solo processors were Core Duo processors, not Core 2 Duo, but the original Core Duo the, based on the Yona architecture. They just took ones that failed the dual core test and made them into single core processors and called them Core Solo. And yet, this is the second Core Solo machine I've had, and it, this, the processor usage seems to be spiked at 100%, even on XP. So... In my opinion, I think Core Solo processors are a ripoff. So, Intel, if you're listening, please don't make the same mistake twice because the Atom chips that I've seen recently and the recent Celeron chips that you, people have attempted to run Windows 10 on, not very, not, doesn't run very well, does it? But what do you expect for a cheap, low end CPU? Anyways, I just figured I'd make this quick little video just you know, just to show that this machine is now back at XP, and, um, let me tell you, I'd much rather have it perform a little sluggish on XP than to have it unusable and blue screening on Vista. And maybe one day I might even, I have several, I have four copies of Windows 7 Starter Edition, so I might load Windows 7 Starter on here, but even 7 doesn't run well, uh, with less than one gig, with less, with one gigabyte of RAM or less. Well, you need one gigabyte of RAM minimum to install Windows 7, but even the starter edition, I noticed, doesn't run well on just one gig of RAM. <sighs> so, hopefully, these updates will go through according to plan. Oh, don't go to sleep on me. I didn't say... I, you're not supposed to go to sleep during a video. But yeah, I just figured I'd make this video just to fill the time.